So the big question, can you lose stubborn belly fat in one week? Well, according to some YouTubers, you can lose stubborn belly fat in one week, and apparently there's some quote unquote science behind it. And I must have skipped that science class for getting all this done in a week because I've been wasting my life. I feel like last 10 years, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning how to eat right, how to exercise right, how to take care of myself, build habits, human psychology, reading all these books, for what? If I can just do it in a week. Or can I, or can you do it in a week? Or is this just a bunch of garbage fitness information designed to mislead you and to put you on a path to failure? Let's get real for a minute. If you have that much body fat in your midsection to define that as a belly, that's already more fat than you can get rid of in a week, no matter what the diet or training protocol is. And let's entertain this idea. Let's do a thought experiment. Let's say I could snap my fingers right now and get you to 10% body fat. Let's say I did it right now. How long do you think you can sustain that? Couple of weeks, one month, maybe two months? Why is that? Why can't you sustain it? Well, the person you are now, if you're at 20, 25, or 30% body fat, you can't handle being at 10% body fat yet. You haven't gone through the process of getting the skills, cultivating the habits, learning the knowledge that you need to sustain that type of lifestyle, to sustain that type of result. There's a process, and if you skip the process, you're like that lottery winner that is gonna go broke because you don't know how to manage it. Because throughout the process is where you learn to deal with social eating, stress eating, emotional challenges, physical challenges, adjusting your workout, being consistent, fall off, come back on really quickly, and all the mental challenges as well where you're fighting a lot of the bad habits that you cultivated over five, 10, 15 years, and now you're starting to build all these little new habits which are so tiny and trying to fight these huge monster bad habits that have been in your life for a very long time. You think those bad habits are just gonna give up easily? No, they're not. They're gonna keep coming back. They're gonna keep derailing you. And it's a battle for that real estate in your brain. It is about the process. It is about going through the challenges to become the type of person that will be able to have that lifestyle. So you can't skip that. That's why there are no quick fixes that work. And someone who can do a diet for two months, if they don't ultimately change who are they as a person, what decisions they make, what core values they have, they're not gonna be able to sustain the result. That's why so many people lose the weight, go back to where they previously were very quickly. They've never internalized the change. It's about changing how you make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis, how you live your life. This is what fitness is truly about, is making you a different, better version of yourself. If you neglect this, you're just gonna keep struggling, you're gonna keep spinning your wheels year after year, trying to die, trying to find the next big thing, the next seven-day challenge, the next 30-day challenge, nothing's gonna change until you deeply internalize the psychology element of it, and then also handle the rest with the calorie deficit, the macros, the diet, the training, and all that other stuff for what works best for you. Make sure to hit like below, support the video like that, subscribe as well, enable notifications by hitting the bell icon, details for coaching are in the description below, and I will see you in my next video.